There's Welcome back to uh, fuck you. Okay, yeah, yeah, Lana, you know, just fucking sit there. <laughs> There's two handles for a reason. You bitch. Okay, so I'll just fucking do it all. Okay, yeah, yeah. sweet. You gonna hold it open, or am I just gonna? Did you, did you see break that? My fucking did you see back? that the darkness are making a new record? Did you hear about that? I did not. It's called Easter is canceled. Oh. They put out a new. We should listen to the song. It's actually really good. It's called. Uh, they put out a, a music video for a song called <clears throat> "Rock and Roll Deserves to Die." Watch Elena's fat ass break this fucking thing yeah, before I get. It, get yeah, there. if you had the fat skin, like it, it uh, affects like how you can traverse the yep, level. Yeah, there fucking is. There it fucking is. Every except, time. except if she had the fat skin, she wouldn't have even made it up there. Yeah, she should have. <laughs> oh, landed on top. All right. Thank you. I was fucking got knocked in the face. And you have like special melee skills so you can smother people with your tits. <laughs> <laughs> was that one of those creatures that just jumped? Is that what that was? No, that was Elena. No, but there was something else before her jumping. Oh, yeah, probably then. Or maybe it was just a bird or something. Man, I've been doing this bullshit like. All day. No, like actually, you know, <laughs> trying to scale things. Oh, yeah. Is one of my regimens of working out. Uh, it fucking sucks. I bet. You'd be like, so tired. Him doing any of this stuff is super fucking impressive. Like that, right there. Just to hold on to after jumping and yeah. then doing all this bullshit. Like, I take it for granted that I have to just fucking press a button. But, like, yeah, right. real life, bullshit, dude. I know. That's what they need to do is you have to have stamina management in this video game for climbing. So... I can't see you. Hold on. Hold That's kind of how it felt with uh, mountain biking, dude. Yeah, I went mountain biking last week, and it's shit fucking is so hard. Like, if you've never done it before. Like, even Drew said. Like, Drew is, like, the mountain biking enthusiast of the group, I guess. Mm-hmm. You know, he actually has, like, a, a really nice, expensive bike, and he's got all the gear and shit. Um, <clears throat> and he, I, I brought my bike, but he let me use, like, his helmet, and, like, he had one of those water pack things that you wear, you know? Oh, yeah, water um, water vest thingy. Yeah, and, um, like, he's telling us, like, you know, he knows the trail, so he's, like, telling us where to slow down and all that shit. And uh, he's like, yeah, the first time I did it, I, like, wasn't even, like, a half mile in, and I was fucked. Like, I was so tired. <laughs> And that's how it was, like, with me and Derek doing it. Like, we'd never done it. Like, Derek's probably better than I am at it. Like, you know, just because, like, you know, he's probably a little bit more fit than I am. But, like, still. Like, we did we did pretty good. Like, we yeah. didn't fall and hurt ourselves or anything, thank God. <laughs> it was fun, though. I'd do it again. Yeah, that's something I, I was thinking of doing. Like, hiking or, you know, mountain biking. And Mount- anything that's a little more physically yeah. active now. Well, mountain biking is fun in the sense that, like, yes, it's more, it's very challenging, like, especially, like, if there's, like, an uphill section. Like, you have to, like, tr- really, really try and, like, get up yeah. there. So that's why you have, like, a bike with, pe- like, or gears in it, rather. So you can pedal, like, you know, a little bit, um, like, it's easier to pedal up those hills, you know? But that's, like, my least favorite thing is, like, when I can pedal easier because then it's, like, I have to, like, my legs are just going fucking crazy fast, you know? Yeah, because you're... <clears throat> yeah. But, but um, you're, you're doing a lot to get, you know, that wheel moving. Yeah. And, um... But it was fun. It, it is fun. Like, that's, like, the worst part of it is, like, just getting used to, like, going uphill. And it's, like, you know, he even said, like, you know, if you have to walk it up and, like, you know, just to, like, kind of maintain your stamina a bit than do that and that's I did that maybe once or twice we'd walk up a hill because it's just like trying to pedal up it is fucking impossibly difficult yeah it's like you know going a whole another fucking layer well because you have to yeah you have to expend so much energy just to get to the top of that hill hey catch that was pretty good I almost fucking blew your head off on <laughs> so like we did we did I think like three maybe three and a half miles tops on the trails and uh that took us like i don't know like an hour something like that hour and a half maybe um just to go three miles and uh three miles of mountain biking is nothing compared to like doing however many miles on just like a flat trail you know yeah i remember the one time i rode down the macomb orchard trail which is you know it's just a paved bike trail it's just straight yeah, like, so there's like no hills or anything. <laughs> the only hill that appears is when you're crossing Van Dyke, which is like the highway. Um, they have a bridge that goes over it. It's like literally the only like uphill section that I remember doing it. But I remember I rode 28 miles on that. I rode 14 miles down it, and 14 miles back, and it's like that was easy. There's fucking nothing to it. But like three miles on a fucking 
the mountain biking trail was so much more like difficult. Yeah, it's so much more taxing. Yeah, it's crazy. But it was fun. I liked it. We picked kind of a shitty day to go to. It was super humid outside, so we were fucking dying. Yeah. But it was alright. It was it was fun. I recommend it. If you can I I would say, Billy, if you wanted to do it, like get somebody or find somebody that you know who does it. Like you could probably ask Drew, he'd probably take you. Uh, like if we went or something like that. Yeah. Like he'd probably like take uh, take, take us. me with you. Yeah. But you work during the week. Yes I do. You fart. Yeah, I do. Like you trying part. to fucking make money and shit. Oh! Why don't you just be like Nathan Drake and fucking Treasure Hunt? <laughs> I wish. There's more job security in that. There's treasures I can steal all the time. Yeah, he's not. He's not saving them or anything. He's he's. <laughs> no, that's it's like we said that one time. Like he's gonna take like the gold doubloons and go buy a soda with him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just fucking. <laughs> this fucking dude. He keeps doing that. He looks like a fucking Irish guy. He's yeah. Like fucking Danny O'Connor over here. Hi, my name is Danny O'Connor. I come from the O'Connor Brewery. And I'm here to fuck you. Holy shit. <laughs> I was hoping he was going to be balanced on that railing. Oh, I wish. Oh my god. He's you okay, no little? face, man. Remember when we used to play fucking Gears of War all the time? Yeah. <laughs> Why did I bash my head into the wall? <laughs> Fuck! Are they, they're still making Gears of War, aren't they? Are they still making those? Uh, yeah, I think so. Fucking Gears of War, man. Fuck you. <laughs> Gears of War 2 was the best one. But Gears of War three was cool too. Fuck I think I think <laughs> I think the problem we had was like because Gears of War three added like that Counter Strike esque element where like you get points and you can spend them on things like yeah. in the horde mode. I just think by the time we got into three, like we were so burnt out on it that we yeah. just didn't want to play it anymore. Yeah, that one that one was kind of tough to to play after playing so much of two. Yeah, I remember we would just fucking play Gears of War two on the horde mode, just you and me. We'd have the giant bucket of mints that we took from Taco Bell in between us, and we would just fucking play that game for hours, dude. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. That was good times. It was good. I liked it. It was the highlight of my life. <laughs> <laughs> my life's when we beat shit the When since. we beat the Riverside map by ourselves. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We would just hold up, there's a barn in there. We would just hold up in the barn and put the shield up and just be like, Fucking Dan! <laughs> just do it! We got this! Fucking Danny, get out of here. My name is Danny O'Connor, and I'm here to fuck your pussy. Really your moist lips. Gross Protestant pussy. <laughs> Hey, nothing wrong that with the Protestant Puss. That's fucked up, man. Like, their country is, like, split in two because of that. It's crazy. <laughs> it's not still like that, is it? I don't think it yeah. is, is it? Is it? Yeah, it is. Oh, it is? Okay, I don't know. Fuck you. I just remember, like, you know, that's, like, kind of, like, one of the defining things about Ireland is the fact that, like, yeah, they're still the two religious sects just pretty much, like, split the country in half. Yeah, they're, they're still split. <sighs> Northern Ireland... That's fucked. Like, even in, in 2019, people are battling over ideologies. It's stupid. Yeah, it is. Well, you know, my, you know what my thoughts are. On, on <laughs> Welcome the to Chinstrap Chap's Political Hour. <laughs> no, this is religion. This is even worse. The religion hour. Oh, I see you have me more ammo. Oh, <laughs> fuck. The only religion that I ascribe to is the Flying Spaghetti Monster. Oh shit! The only religion I respond to is none. Scientology. <laughs> no, absolutely not. <laughs> that's like one of the worst ones. That's that's a weird one. We hey, need your money to tell you the secrets that everybody has already publicized. Catch. <laughs> Lord Zenu made the the human race by shooting spirits into a volcano. Yeah, sounds about right. 
Doesn't sound like it's made up. <laughs> I liked I liked it in the South Park episode of that when they just uh, described it like that is something yeah. that comes up and it says this is what Scientologists actually believe. It's funny. Whoa. That was pretty sweet. That was pretty <laughs> he good. scared me. Yeah. Get shot twice. And, oh, what the fuck! And then, <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, I just knocked I was, him out. I don't know what made me think of it just now, but um, I'm kind of just thinking of like stuff that I've seen or watched recently. I, I saw a video on um, is some it Beyblades. No, because if it's not Beyblades, no, no, it's, a, it's an actually interesting video. Oh. There was one um, channel I forgot what they're called, but like they did, they did like a lot of like. Um, story explanations for PT and stuff like that. But they had another one that they recently made that was, uh... They think that, like, the meaning or, like, the purpose behind PT was kind of like a, a way of, um, Kojima getting around his non-disclosure agreement with Konami and, like, how they were treating everything, uh, like, regarding his employment at the company and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, like... Just a lot of, like, the hidden messages and things like that in the game are, like, referring to people, like, at the company and, like, kind of what was supposed to happen and shit like that. I, it's kind of hard to describe without, like, actually watching it, but you should see if you can find it. Like, it's, it's like a half an hour video, but it's really interesting. And it's, like, you know, a really cool idea. Because there's been, there's been people who have done that where they would make a project and it's, like, their way around, like publicly saying this motherfucker did this to me and he's and a da, 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 da. I remember there was uh, one band that I listened to an album from called uh, there's the band's called Slice the Cake and they put out a concept album about like a guy a pilgrim traveling to like a mountain because his religious god told him to do it or something I don't know but like the whole allegorical thing is like the band split up because like there was like a difference in like the direction they wanted to go or something like that so like a lot of people think that that's what that album's about it's like it's interesting like taking these kind of like real life ideas and putting them into a like a medium or like something that's completely outside of what it's like actually about you know yeah which the whole thing with Kojima like Konami and all that was just a whole shit show oh yeah no it absolutely was a shit show I'm glad that most things came to light. Uh, yeah. I'm sure there's a whole bunch that were still... Yeah, but it was just like, you know, he's obviously, like, under a non-disclosure agreement, so, like... Yeah, he the can't theory, say shit. The theory, anyway, is that, like, he developed PT as a means of, like, trying to, like, you know, express some of that stuff. And again, I think that's still just a theory, but it's an interesting one. A game theory. It would be pretty cool to... Uh, yeah, it wasn't game theory that did that, no. that one, but it was somebody... I forgot what the other one... It's called, like gaming ideas or something like that or I forgot what it's called but it's something like that um and I thought that's cool it's a cool idea cause then uh, every other time that they've like <clears throat> done a theory like they um like they explain like everything in PT and like all the names and shit and all that whatever stuff and then that all turned out to be like wrong or something yeah <laughs> But, like, everything that they had said, like, it had so much, like, compelling evidence for it, but it's, like, you know. Which were you from? Which were you from? But isn't that, isn't that just human nature is trying to find meaning in the meaningless? Yeah. So, I don't know. I'm, I'm sure there's a meaning behind some of this stuff. Catch PT, that. But, you know. That guy had so much time to move. What? Grenades don't blink like that. Why do they blink like that in the game? Just make it easier. For you to see it. It's like the hockey pucks in video games. They flash a Where million you colors. Where you wet? There you wet. Why waste a bullet on you when I could just... Well, I can do this and then Ooh. you're not knocked out at all. <laughs> you fucking shat a gun in midair. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, Carl, Sch Carl Schaefer's dead. I mean, Tim Schaefer's dead. <laughs> Mr. 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 Shitface. Mr. Shitface is dead. <laughs> I think he's like I'm pretty sure he went online and was like really upset about that. <laughs> Fucking Tim Schafer, dude. Is he, is that what he's doing now, like Kickstarter shit? Yeah. Yeah. Why'd you do that? I I couldn't remember how to undo it. Uh, <laughs> so I'm just whatever. like uh Whatever. That's you'll get more. I always get more. Cause he's not uh I don't think double fine is a thing anymore, is it? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure they like close their doors at some point probably in 2000 late 
I don't know. It is one one Google search away, and I'm too busy to to do that. That let you fall for a long time. Yeah, I'm just like, Damn. All right. <laughs> Next time with Chins Chap Chaps. I don't know. I want to see the ending of this game. <laughs> Thank mm-hmm. you.